Hi, my name is Jeff and welcome back to my workshop. Today we're working on this AccuRail kit. This is a Gettleman Brewing Company refrigerated car. It's bunker refrigerated, wood-sided. This kit was custom produced for the Arlington Heights Society of Model Engineers a few years ago. Uh, a club I am part of and glad to support. Inside the kit we have the, the car body. And as well as a sprue with the coupler covers and the brake hardware. And a bag containing the trucks, couplers, and screws needed to assemble the car. There's a tissue to protect the car, and inside of that we'll find a steel weight to help bring the car up to NMRA standard weight. Instruction sheet, and underneath that, a sprue with the underframe and the fish belly center sill pieces. Now when I assemble this, I'm going to modernize the car to a degree and replace the fish belly center sills with a steel channel still. So I won't be using those pieces, but I'll start by removing the floor from the sprue. And I'm using some flush cutting sprue nippers so I get a good clean cut. You don't want to twist these off because you could damage the the floor of the car and since this is attached at the coupler pockets you could damage those coupler pockets which could make them very difficult to get the couplers to operate properly. So I also want to sand off any remnants of where it was attached on these. Again want to make sure we get that nice and smooth because we don't want anything to interfere with the couplers later. Now the simulate the steel channel underframe I'm using some pieces of 030 by 0 0.130 styrene I find this works very well and I cut a whole bunch of these to length um, or approximate lengths uh, sometimes these fit right in where I need them uh, sometimes they're a little bit long but if they fit like this one did we can just take some styrene cement and just run a bead along at the base and hold it in place while it sets. Take another piece for the other side. This one's a little long, so I'm just going to use a sanding stick to file it down to the correct length and just keep test fitting. It's still a little long, so we'll take a little more off. It's always better to have to remove a little bit more than to take too much off at once. Because if you take too much off, it's hard to put it back. It's a lot easier to remove a little ex little more as needed. And once that's set to fit, we'll get that into place. And then take our styrene cement and we'll glue it in. By the way, the sanding stick I'm using here is a 100 grit sanding stick, which is good for this type of work. And glue it in. I'll just continue down until we get all of them in. And then remove the brake pieces from the sprue and insert them into the appropriate openings on the body of, under frame of the car. Okay, with the brake gear glue in place, we can add a drop of glue to the openings for them from the floor side of the car. That'll glue those into place. Let that dry. And while that's happening, we can start preparing 
some of our other pieces. And this is going to be the coupler covers. Again, we sanded off the spot where it was attached to the sprue. We're also going to get out our trucks and the plastic wheel sets that came with the car. Now, I'm not going to leave the plastic wheel sets on the car. I prefer to use a, a metal wheel set. Uh, in this case, it's going to be an Intermountain 33-inch metal wheels. But I am going to use the plastics as a the plastic wheel sets in the trucks when I paint them as a mask. But first, we want to install the coupler covers without couplers. That'll protect the couplers and, again, serve as a mask to the coupler pockets and also give us a chance to paint those coupler covers to match the underframe of the car. So I'm using a screw grabber just to get that screw started in the hole and then I can use my Phillips screwdriver to screw it, screw the cover on all the way. And with that in, repeat on the other side. And to make sure I don't lose them, and just in case need to, I'm going to screw the put in the screws that hold the trucks in place that'll protect the kingpin mounts there on the bolsters this kit comes with Acumate couplers those are the two little trip pins for them I'm not going to use those I prefer a KD metal wheel metal coupler so I'm going to use a KD number 148 on this car so we can dispose of those trip pins and just get the other truck screw mounted in place. And the next thing I'm going to do is take a painter stick and I'm just going to wrap some tape around it and I'm going to attach it to the stick and then fold it back itself and wrap it so it's sticky side out. And just go around the stick a number of times until I have kind of wrapping down until I have about five, six inches of tape wrapped around there. And then I can set the weight onto the tape, press that down, and the car body. And now this is ready to go to, to go get painted. For the trucks, I'm going to install the plastic wheel sets. This will they'll serve as a mask over the truck journal so we don't get paint into those holes that the axles will go into of the fi when we finally assemble the truck. Once the trucks are painted, we'll dis just dispose of those plastic wheel sets. Now to hold the trucks while I paint them, I'm just using a piece of dowel rod that I've put through a pencil sharpener to get a point on it. And it just holds the couplers firmly in place while I paint them. Okay, with everything ready for painting, we are going to head out to the paint shop and I'm going to spray these using a Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch 2X prime, gray primer. Uh, you can see the trucks are done here. 
those uh, dells worked well so now we can remove and discard the plastic wheel sets that came with the kit take off the steel weight and the under frame and then just remove the tape from the paint stick and discard it next thing I'm going to do is run my truck tuning tool through the truck just to remount those journals make sure they're nice and smooth so that the truck will be completely free rolling this works one journal side at a time so once you're done you flip it over to get the next one flip it around to the other side to get up till you have all four and then just insert the new wheel sets and give them a quick spin just to make sure they f they f spin freely And then do the same thing on the other side. With both trucks done, we're ready to start assembling the underframe. First thing we're going to do is remove the coupler covers and insert our KD 148 couplers into the coupler box. After, when we get the couplers ready, you want to make sure that that coupler spring is in place so that the coupler will stay closed. We'll insert that and get the cover back on and then just make sure it floats smoothly in there. If not, we can make any adjustments either loosening the screw or if we have to taking it out and just making sure that everything's assembled properly as you'll see here i hope you're enjoying this video please make sure if you are to make sure you hit that thumbs up button help the youtube algorithms and also um, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video this is going to be a a multi-part video so once we get we'll get the couplers installed today and then the next video will post probably tomorrow where we will finish up the car and you can see that coupler is sticking a little bit so I'm gonna try loosening the cover a little bit sometimes that helps uh, in this case, I'm actually going to take the cover off and make sure that those whiskers are firmly inside the coupler and that it's working properly in there. There we go. Okay, in our next part, we will finish this car up. We'll get it weathered. And when it's all done, this is what our project will look like. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I look forward to having you as a guest in my workshop next for the next video. Thank you for watching.